there's a really beautiful point in life as we flow in and out of different scenarios, flow in and out of different environments, as we flow in and out of different communities, where you go from being, which is kind of the first chapter of a new environment. You find yourself craving to be there. Whatever that means for you, that might mean that you are <clears throat> acclimating, calibrating to the particular way that a place, circumstance feels. You take your time to do that. That might mean spending some time alone in that space. That might mean walking around, getting to know it, taking opportunities where everyone else goes out to do something and you stay at, at home. But environments are so many different things. Could be you, you're traveling. You're learning how to be a traveler. And that acclimation period might involve simply finding yourself in the same practice, in the same experience, enough times, days in a row, where you feel like you've found something to hold on to in spite of a totally foreign environment and situation. That's a beautiful time in our journey becoming ourselves in a space. And once that is done, one of the most beautiful transitions starts to happen that I've been witnessing happen with my friends who are visiting me here on the Aina, where I'm actually at my neighbor's place right now. But one of the most beautiful things that happens is that moment when being turns into doing in a way that feels so organic, so effortless, that that doing doesn't feel like an obligation, it doesn't feel like work, it doesn't feel like a strain on your experience, on your relationships. You get to a point where doing becomes being and your beingness in that space simply does. What I mean by that is you allow yourself, afford yourself the opportunity to be guided in what you do. Those days when you wake up and you don't really know what it is that you need to do you might have some things on your mind, but you've gotten to know yourself, the environment, and yourself in the environment well enough to where you can just be guided by the intuitive voice that lives inside of us, that wants us to succeed, that wants us to flow and grow. And when you tap into that with a group of people, <laughs> It's amazing. We could do so much cool stuff. So when you are somewhere, be there for a bit. And then start doing. But don't make it hard on yourself.